Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. So Blender 3.0 has arrived and this is my first tutorial for this version. I just want to say I'm excited for some new features in Blender 3.0, but overall in terms of modeling and UI and everything, there are some minor changes and some UI cosmetics, but nothing that would affect my recent tutorials or my courses. So if you're worrying about watching some of these older tutorials, it should work just fine in the newest Blender version as well. So today we'll be making this cute candy cane animation. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it really helps my channel to grow. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to see content like this in the future, please hit that subscribe and the bell button if you want to get notified when I release something new. And if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender, and you want to become a 3D illustrator, go and check out my courses that are carefully designed to teach you beginner and intermediate skills in quickest and most effective way. For example, with the new Ultimate 3D bundle, you can go from simple cubic designs all the way to full character illustration in a matter of weeks. So if you're interested, please go check out the link in the description. So let's open empty Blender scene and first I want to delete the default cube and the light here. So let's drag a selection, press X and delete. I will use the camera later, so let's press Shift A and we can start with a circle and let's reduce the number of vertices to something like 24 and now hit tab for edit mode, let's rotate this a little bit with the middle mouse button and let's select this bottom part of the circle and press X and delete vertices and now let's select this one here and we'll extrude, so press E then X and extrude it like this so you have that candy cane shape and now we'll subdivide this, so press Ctrl R and increase the number of cuts with the mouse wheel something like this, so it looks consistent with the circle and now we can tab out, right click and choose convert to curve I really enjoy using curves for this um, let's go to the curve settings, geometry section and let's increase the depth if it's going too fast you can additionally hold shift for smaller increments and let's create a cane like this and now we'll convert this back to the mesh um, so let's and now we'll convert this back to the mesh so right click convert to mesh and now we can tab out let's go to the modifiers tab and let's add decimate modifier and now if we enable wireframe overlay here you can see if we choose unsubdivide and one iteration we are creating this spiral geometry which will help us to add colors to the candy cane and create these stripes so let's go over here and apply the decimate modifier and now additionally let's disable the wireframe overlay tab in, alt click the endpoint, press F to fill and here as well okay now we can tab out and press ctrl 2 for subdivision surface modifier and right click and shade smooth so this is the basis for our candy cane and now we can add some materials so let's go to the render properties first and let's enable ambient occlusion bloom and screen space reflections to have nicer previews and now I will prepare some render settings as well so let's switch to cycles and I will use GPU for rendering and here this changed a little bit we have basically samples for viewport and render separately and the noising is separate now too so you can just check both viewport denoising and render denoising I use open image for render and optics for the viewport denoise so that's for the render settings and now let's go to the material tab and let's hold Z and switch to material preview and now let's create a new material let's call this white and let's reduce the roughness to something like 0.1 I want this to be really glossy and now let's create a new material slot let's call this red let's reduce roughness to 0.1 as well and let's pick some color like this and now tab in let's go to the face select by pressing 3 and now alt click this loop right here and by holding alt and shift we can add to the selection to select all of these spirals and let's just hit assign and we have our candy cane now we'll need some manual adjustment here you can see these triangles didn't get selected because they're not part of the loop so let's select these triangles additionally and let's assign that red material there and here as well okay that should work and now I want to create this funny little animation so let's press shift A and add a plane 
Now let's tab in, press S and make it larger. And to create this animation, we'll use rigid body physics. So with the background selected, let's go to the physics tab and let's enable a rigid body on the plane and let's switch this to passive. It will be just a passive object, just an obstruction. And now let's select the cane here and let's add rigid body with active option. And now press G then Z, move this up. And if you play the animation, you will see the cane is falling and hitting the ground, which is what we want. So now if you just press R twice and rotate this cane a little bit and hit spacebar, it should get more interesting results. Now, I don't like um, how this animation works and that's probably caused by the collision shape. So let's go to the collision section here and let's change the convex hull shape to mesh. So this can be a little bit demanding on your performance, but will give you accurate physics like this. So that's the cane and now we can just proceed and create more of these canes here and you can use particle systems for that if you want more of them. Um, I'll just use Alt D to create link duplicates of these canes over one another and I will let them fall down on our plane and additionally I want to rotate them in various ways using R twice. So we have some interesting results. And now if we run the animation, we have some nice candy canes falling on our plane. And let's adjust the colors a little bit more. So let's select the plane, go to the materials tab and let's create the background material. And I want to go for some yellow color, really strong yellow color like this. And let's increase the roughness all the way to one. Let's look from the camera and now let's run the animation. Okay, now select the camera. I want to go further away, so press G and Z twice. And additionally, you can hit N and in the view options, you can check lock camera to view. Um, and if you right click and move this to quick favorites, you can access it with Q like here. So I'm using it like this. Just hit Q and lock it there. So if you do that, you can just use your viewport controls to position your camera, something like this. Okay, and don't forget to turn it off. Okay, I really like this, but this one here falls a little bit too far away. So let me move it somewhere else. Okay, I guess this is fine. And let's now add some lighting. So first of all, I'll press Shift A and let's add an area light. Press G, then Z, move it up. Make it a little bit larger. And let's enter something really strong like 1500. You can see our scale is quite large. Um, the candy canes are several meters, I think, if you look at the grid. So we'll need to use some strong numbers here. And now let's go here and enable scene lights and scene world. Okay, like this. And this is still too soft. So let's go to something like 3000. Okay, and I'll go for some three point lighting. So let's hold period, switch to the 3D cursor, RX 45 degrees minus. And now let's rotate it here to create some interesting lighting setup. And now let's press Shift D, R, Z and rotate it from the side. Maybe bring it down a little bit and higher up. And you can see these reflections. Um, when you want to create an interesting scene and you don't have any surroundings and you're using reflective materials, remember that for the reflective materials to be interesting, they need to reflect something. And if you have empty scene, they will look dull. So it's up to you to create more lights um, to create these kind of reflections and patches of light on the material. So it's represented correctly and it's actually interesting. So let's press Shift D and let's create another one here. And you can see how these reflections are adding up here and making these canes look more interesting. Now I will reduce the strength of these side lights. Just like that. And let's change the resolution to something else.
and bring this out a little bit maybe higher up and now we can go closer with the camera okay let's look at the render preview um, looks quite nice and I'm kind of mind blown how fast the blender 3.0 is um, regarding cycles render uh, basically with the denoising you can just play back your animation real time in cycles with the noise ink and it will just work so yeah this is blazing fast now the rest is just to fine tune the lighting uh, maybe you can go to the world settings and add some ambient blue tones to the world and let's go to the render settings color management and you can play with the contrast look here and with some exposure to give this some more brightness now let's bring the camera yet a little bit closer and we have our little animation so that's the candy cane animation for you i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave that like it will really help me and again if you're new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day